Hello and welcome to Inspiral Out Loud where Mars and I are chatting about energy today. I had thought that say using solar power would have helped to address that but in fact I've heard from um, a friend that actually in solar powered houses that the electric the, the dirty electricity is running right um do you know about that not a lot about it i would suspect if that's occurring it might be one of two things it could either be that the um the interaction between the power produced by the solar cells and then going through the um inverters or um sorry converters uh, might be somehow interacting with the the um, cycle coming in from the the grid, and that the interaction between those two might be causing ripples, uh, which is dirty power. Uh, could also be cheap converters from the solar to from direct current, which is what solar cells produce into alternating current, which is what comes out of the wall. Um, I'm sure if that's either of those two cases, there might there should be some way to regulate that with better designed uh, converters. Yeah, and you've also mentioned with solar previously that one of the main issues currently is how to store the energy itself and that the amount of resources required to even generate that infrastructure at the end of the day, isn't a whole lot better to what we've got already. Um, would you like to speak to that? The problem with a lot of alternative technologies and batteries is a big problem, is the how, how expensive it is going to be to produce batteries that can, um, that can carry the amount of, uh, store the amount of power that we need to make that a viable option. Um, when dealing with renewable energies like solar in particular for your nighttime use. The problem with batteries is they all use, uh, all the rechargeable type of batteries all use toxic compounds one way or another. It doesn't matter whether it's the standard car battery, which is lead acid, um, when you've always got disposal problems with lead uh, when the batteries fail, um, or you've got all of the expense of the more modern batteries like the types that you'll see in mobile phones and other portable devices they all use lithium largely because that stores that's uh, sort of the most efficient and you, the greatest storage capacity which you need and lithium mining is a real serious environmental issue um, there's also a lot of these renewable technologies are a little bit of a false promise because they fail to address the problem that in order to get those um, raw materials to produce the renewable technologies, they all require fossil fuels anyway, because you've got mining, transportation, etc. All of those are the hidden costs behind the mining of lithium, the, um, the processing of it, all of that largely comes off um, our coal-powered coal electricity to run that whole thing or uh, oil to run the machine, uh, the, the, the trucks and everything else that goes on. And it's not just the cost, the cost benefit analysis of whether we use fossil fuels or renewables, it's actually the environmental cost, which is a, a big problem. We have not effectively dealt with disposal of waste products to warrant the, it, it, what it's essentially doing is just transferring off, uh, trading off the cost of burning off fossil fuels to produce, provide electricity for toxicity in the environment with real poisons that, you know, damage plant life and, um, you know, get into uh, the water supply and all of those problems. You've got to trade off which is worse, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere or poisons in our environment. And that opens the whole can of worms, of course, into uh, whether carbon dioxide itself is a problem in the environment or not. 